in very cold South Yorkshire and um, I've just been told I'm near Gainsborough if you know where that is so I've not had the best of mornings I'll be honest I mean I've, I've got in trouble on the M62 for speeding um, and got flashed by a camera <laughs> and then I got lost and now I'm here and I'm on um, an old sugar beet field and it's that muddy. I've only been here five minutes and I've got moon boots, you know, and the mud's stuck all onto your boots. So I'm not bothered though. It's freezing, but I'm wrapped up. Let's do it. So I'm using the Garrett Vortex and the uh, settings I'm using today are, I've got two off my sensitivity. I'm using it in zero mode and I've got it on multi-frequency. I think, I think it's, it's kind of, all number twos are kind. Oh yeah, it is. Huh? Ooh. Kind, it's only a copper one. Don't have to get excited. Don't lose it, it's all. <laughs> uh, oh, I should have brought my water bottle, shouldn't I? Oh, I'll tell you where we go. Do a poor picture, here it is. Was it your first hole or second hole? What was it? Third hole. Third hole. Look at that lovely cloth fastener. That's lovely, that is, isn't it? What sort of date would you put on that, Mike? Um, the 1800s. It's lovely, that, isn't it? Yeah, it's a nice one, isn't it? Yeah, let's hope I can be so lo as, as lucky. Look at my boots. Look, I can't hardly walk. Just pull them off and then it just comes back on again. Oh, weigh about ten pound each. I'm not sure if this is anything. It looks like a particular shape, made out of lead. What do you think? Probably just nothing, but it, it definitely looks like. Well, it was definitely something. Let's just say that. But I'm not sure. Yeah, I've got a feeling that might be something. You know what? This ground's actually. I've got. I've got a bit of a bad dip at the minute here. And um, this ground's just set it off hurting. I don't know. It's, it's tendonitis in my hip. <sighs> I'm really struggling on this ground. It's because my wellies are that big. I was skidding all over and now I'm in pain. I've had, I've had some tablets. If it don't, the pain doesn't stop. I'm going to have to go home again because it's an hour and a half drive. And sitting in a driving position makes it even worse. So I'm going to be in pain for an hour and a half going home. Come on, better be an hammered down here quick. We just we just come back for a little bit of a brew here while I was letting the tablets kick in for me. And uh, Mike's come over with a, a half a denari. Oh, what a shame he's broke. But he's just telling us a story then that he's had one for the last four digs that he's been out on, haven't you? One at Rodney Cook. One after that. Yeah. And then this one. Oh, right, so two and a half. Two and a half. <laughs> was you exaggerating with your four then? My hips actually took me out. So I'm sorry it's not very long, and I thought rather than not put a video out, I'd just let you know um, why, why there's not many video. That's because of my legs killing me. It's all right for walking forward, but with all that mud on my wellies and everything else like that, I don't want to damage it more than it is. So I'll say till next week. But if I've disappeared for a week or two, that's what's up with me. It's my hip. Because uh, apparently at my age, you get things like this. <laughs> But I'm determined not to be old. So I'll, I will sort it out. I've got physio going on it and everything. And uh, it'll soon be back to normal. But for today, I don't want to do any more damage. And there's not enough here. There's people finding hammers and things, but it's too much walking on too hard ground for me. Hip. Feel sorry for me.